Ted Ted Art. Today we're going to make these cute little napkin bunnies. Now they're a tiny bit fiddly, but once you get the hang of them, they're really fun. And you can make them when you're out at the restaurant, impress your family, impress your friends at the school canteen, and just have a bit of fun. You can make them out of fabric. Let's have a look. Here we go. Here's a fabric version. However, as you can see, the fabric version does need a little ribbon just to hold it all in place. But come on then, let's take a look and see how that works. Okay, so what you need is a paper napkin. Now this does work with cloth napkins, but you will need a ribbon or some elastic as well. This is perfect for paper napkins. So you've opened it all up like this one. It can be any color. You're gonna turn it round and I'm going to fold two thirds of the way up. So you've got it, so it's a rough guess, it's not that exact. And once you have about a third, just make sure that when you fold this down, it meets, yeah. So get it nice and neat. And then you fold this down. So this edge comes to the other end. If it doesn't meet, open it up again. Just make sure you folded it roughly in thirds. Got a little bump there, just trying to get the bump out. Where does that come from? There we go. Get it as neat and as flat as possible. And you've got this center from your original fold. Bring that side down to the center. Okay. Now you can start seeing a bit more. It actually fits into my screen. Feed. This, corner, this side aligned with this side. Do it again as neat as you possibly can. Flatten it. There we go. Turn it round. And now you want to bring this edge along to this edge. Okay, so this side needs to go here. Make your corners as neat as possible and as pointy as possible at the top. And same again here, so this side, here. And again, try and make the pointy bit up here as neat as possible. And then you fold it over again along this line. try and get all these little corners tucked in and again here on this side as well just fold it over oopsie <laughs> I need to crease my make my creases a bit stronger here we go so next make sure all your creases are as neat as they could possibly be flip it round and bring this point up to the top. Or you can actually bring it to about here, it doesn't really matter too much, it's your choice. Here we go. Don't worry about these little bits sticking out, so we'll tuck those in in a minute. Flip it, oopsie, keep it all in place. Tuck these up, yeah, and bring over. Now, here's the tricky bit, and I know you can do it, just give yourself the chance. So I'm holding it with my fingers. Here's a little pocket, here's a little pocket. You need to fold it across and tuck it into the little pocket. Here we go. And just give it a really good tuck, give it a fold. Now, whilst you're holding this, you can adjust this a bit, and you can also, whilst you're holding it, fluff the ears out. So open up, put your finger in here, kind of give it that nice bunny shape. And here again, give it a little tug. Right, and then you just make sure everything's tucked in, everything's neatly folded, and there you have your bunny. It's kind of like a reverse bunny, because I always think this is the tail and these are the ears from behind. But I think they're really cute, and it makes for really fun table decoration if you're out at a restaurant. So, I'll show them to you again in a bit of close-up, but don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, add this to your playlist, and of course, do have a go.